Let's look at the brand new MongoDB Analyzer for Visual Studio 2022. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology. But sometimes, you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10-minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Now, here I have an example that's going to show us what this analyzer does. Now, this analyzer is a Roslyn analyzer. So the first thing you need to do for your project, if you have a MongoDB project, is you go to Manage NuGet Packages and install the MongoDB.Analyzer project. Notice it's very, very new. So this project, what it's going to do is help you analyze your queries. So let's see some queries in action. We're not going to actually run these queries. We'll just look at the code to see how the analyzer helps us out. Let's start with the builders sample. In this builder sample, we have a, a reference to actually two different calls to, or three calls to a MongoDB database. And the first one's right here, this var filter. Now let's actually zoom in the code a little bit. There we go. So this first one right here, var filter, if you mouse over, notice the, the query is right here, and we're using a, these three different statements to filter out which values you want to see. So there's a some dots underneath the opening statement. And it says MA Builders 1001. This is the analyzer. And the analyzer is saying this is the type of query that's going to get run. And so you can see that it says it's an AND query. We have the, the genre being passed in with a comma. And then the score is going to be greater than the min score. And the third and final uh, ANDed value is score has to have a title search term match. So what we've got right here is we wrote it in this language, okay, where we have these three different calls, and it's saying this is what it's going to look like on the MongoDB side. This is just a check for us to make sure that this is what we're expecting. So it's saying, hey, I'm going to AND these three different filters together. Now, if I if I comment one of those out, let me mouse over it. Now it knows that we have just these two, and it shows us this is what's going to show up in our search filter. Again, we have down here a another builder, and this one's going to do a sort, an ascending, and a descending value. If we look here, it says here is the um, the definition that's going to be set up for it. So this kind of helps you understand how MongoDB sees your C-sharp code to make sure that you understand what's going on with your call, just in case you have some problems. Also notice down here, there's a filter down here that's not supported. So it says, hey, I can't determine what this filter should be, which means it's not going to run on your MongoDB database either because it can't figure this thing out. So it's an unsupported filter. In this case, we're doing the, the length of the reviews column and we're saying, hey, it's going to be two. Well, that doesn't translate over to a MongoDB query. So this can be very helpful for identifying bad queries and making sure that the queries we pass in are, in fact, doing what we expect them to do. Now, we can also look at this link sample. Again, this is a different way to talk to a MongoDB database where we say, hey, I want this as queryable. So get a collection as a queryable, and then we can do a link statement on it like this. And it's the same basic filter, but we're saying, hey, where, and here's the three statements, and then order by, and then find a two list. This is what actually does the query. Well, if we mouse over this section right here, we see that Again, it's the same statement, it's that same aggregation, but we can see what it looks like in MongoDB. So this is the same one that was the, is this, this builder, but this one, it then says, hey, yep, that's the same, that's the same uh, way we're gonna do this. Now, in this one, we add the sort on the end. So we'd see that the sort is also added. So again, just to verify that our queries are doing what we expect on the MongoDB side when we write them in C Sharp with C Sharp code. And down here again, we have some more link queries if you want to try them out. But the third one is this link three example. 
So does link three, but right now it's not supported when with our analyzer. So you can see that it says, hey, if you're using link, you're using link three, but that's not supported when you're doing link two calls. Okay. But we do have this analyzer here that says, no, you know what? We want to default the link version to three. So we're saying, hey, yes, we're going to use the latest stuff, which we have to have version 2.14 or higher to use. So if you're doing less than that, you want to make sure it's set up version two so that it will yell at you with your link calls. But now it says, hey, no problem. That's what's going to be. Okay. So it, it knows what our query is going to be and it says, cool, go ahead and run that. So this is just a, this analyzer just makes sure that you're it checks your queries for you and you can see very quickly if the query is doing what you expect it to do on the MongoDB side. You can also see broken queries if you have those on the C-sharp side. And you can also see um, if something is not going to work with your particular driver. And that's what's in this mongodb.analyzer.json. Now, this is a manually created file, this mongodb.analyzer.json, which has to be named exactly this and it has to be the root of your project. However, you don't need to have it. And if you don't have it, it's just gonna use the defaults. So these are just some options you can put in there if you wanna make some changes. For example, if you wanna output the internal log file or logs to a file, go ahead and set that to true, and that will go to this location, which of course you can change. So stuff like that you can, you can play around with and make this work for you. So this little analyzer, it's a Rosalind analyzer that analyzes your code as you type to figure out what your code is doing and then how it's gonna look on the MongoDB side. It's just a really good check to make sure that you don't write bad code for MongoDB and that it's doing what you expect it to do when you write it, okay? So that's, the, that's how you use the MongoDB analyzer in Visual Studio. So what's your favorite part of this video? Let me know down in the comments. And this, this video was sponsored by MongoDB. This is part of our, our sponsorship with MongoDB. If you haven't kind of kept track of that sponsorship, we did an initial video where we showed off what you can do with MongoDB, some really cool stuff. Then they sponsored an entire course to put on YouTube. And finally, they sponsored this video to show off this new analyzer and how to make your life even easier. So definitely thank them. Uh, in the comments down below, and also thank them on Twitter, at MongoDB. Just say, hey, you know what? Thanks for supporting the community because they really have helped our community to get more things for free and allow more people to learn about C Sharp and MongoDB along the way, but learn more about C Sharp for free. And we really appreciate that. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.